Also breaking here at this noon hour, CCSD police have arrested a Cashman Middle School student for allegedly making a threat against the campus. Now, this morning, we told you about a viral post over social media that was encouraging violent threats against schools nationwide. Up north, in fact, in Carson City, the district decided to play it safe and close all schools today. Classes, however, went on as planned at CCSD. Hector Mejia joining us now live near Decatur and Desert Inn. Hector, what else do we know about the rest of this uh, student? Well, CCSD police say the threat was made online by a juvenile, although a gun was not found on campus. Still, we saw a number of parents show up here pulling their student from class as soon as they got a phone call from the principal about this. Clark County School Police watched over Cashman Middle after a student made a threat here Friday morning. Charges can include making a terrorist threat, among others. CCSD reminding everyone about the severe consequences students can face. I'm always worried about, you know, it happening at schools my kids go to. The day had already started with some anxiety. The district previously sent an email saying it was aware of vague social media threats directed at schools nationwide. Cecilia Freeman has two grandchildren at CCSD. I'm not even sure if I'm feel like dropping her off. Yeah, good grandma. I got my party today. Oh. It's the last day of school before winter break and finals week over at Rancho High School where we met Jared Dean as he dropped off his son at school. With Columbine ever since then, it's been happening more frequently where it almost be, we almost become numb to the violence in school. So I think we always need to take it very seriously. And the student involved in this specific incident here has not been identified because they are a minor. This is also a reminder for students to go ahead and use the Safe Voice app to report anything that looks suspicious or any threat or to go ahead and report it directly to law enforcement. Reporting on site, Cashman Middle School, Hector Mejia, live local now.